Merry, Merry Christmas at this time of year. A blessed season where Jesus is always the reason for the season. And long may that continue. Hopefully it should be continuing every day. For he is the reason for all that is good for us. Because that is what he is. He's the living goodness of all. So it's time for questions, questions, questions. It's time for deep answers. And the Lord prophesied that one would come feeding the master's household. He is the master. And before, uh, while the master is still away, he said that in Matthew 24. He asked that question. And he had already told everyone, Elijah would come and restore all things by his word. His message in Malachi 3, one that he wrote through his uh, spirit. Thanks. And uh, so praise the Lord. It's time to get ahead. And if we will listen to his word of love, nothing uh, is worthy to, to count as uh, the terrible things that happen to us. Is worthy to be even considered compared to the glory of overflowing of love that will soon be revealed within us so it's time to look unto heaven so let truest people of love be hollowed in their thoughts to ensure that their heads won't be hollow uh, uh, they don't want to lack good sense for the lord has never given out any promise that he wouldn't keep especially unto Israel, that in the latter days he would be the God of all families of Israel, uh, Isaiah foretold. And uh, clearly it says that in Jeremiah 31.1. So he keeps his promises, uh, which are always faithfully kept. And praise the Messiah Emmanuel without ceasing that the Lord God's in-time revelator has had enough uh, discernment to recognize the gentle voice of our Lord God. And he had open-eyed visions uh, and breathed upon me his inspiration. And I wrote for 20 years, never really publishing next to much of anything. Couldn't give my materials away. Everything I've done has been in vain. Isaiah 49, 4 predicted that uh, total ignorance would come even from Israel, but they have inherited all mankind. Isaiah 54, 3 proves that I, I am telling it the way it is. And the voice of God, I heard him whispering upon the pleasant winds of his holy breath that he could do gr the greater things that Jesus had proclaimed would come through all men, like people like just your er everyday average people like me. God can do greater things through us than even what Christ performed if we will get on the right track. And after I, I initially refused to, to write, <laughs> I was stubborn. Then um, the Lord asked me, he said, do you want to be a fisher of men? And I said, yeah. <laughs> uh, then he asked, do you think that a man can depend on the abundance of his riches or could they be snatched away? And do you believe that one could safely rest in a fortress or could that fortress be spoiled and cast down? And then he asked by his spirit, and could anyone have faith in their cities or could they also be laid to waste? But <clears throat> then the Lord asked, and is it possible for any soul to place their confidence within their own greatness or could they be humbled and brought low? Oh, this was getting me scared. And then the breath of God emphasized this and said through his holy dove of love, or could a man trust in his own magnificence or could that also be overthrown? And could a woman ever place any lasting trust within her own fading beauty or shall her good looks also wither as the grass? And then the Spirit of the Lord asked, And what do you say about placing trust within laws? Cannot all laws be broken and pass away? And what do you think about putting uh, their faith in the successful lives of their children? Can they not die? Or can one put their hopes in their friends, even though that they too could end up uh, 
not turning out the, the, the well things, the way things uh, you would like, because many friends prove themselves to be false in the time of trouble. Uh, fair weather friends is what they are called. So I responded to the Most High, and I asked him how the wor word, words that he wanted me to pen, how that could ever possibly fly, since people's religious nature would always have them looking at me like I was a serial uh, murder, because I'm coming forth with new revelation. And that is the reason why I've got uh, almost almost uh, 4,000 videos <laughs> At this channel, I've got over a thousand I'm, where I'm uh, recording this, and no one is watching. I got 12 subscribers, Dave. I have just been tuned right out, but I'm building it, and people shall come when uh, when the time is right. Very abruptly, the Lord God, his voice rang out, and he said this, Thus saith the Lord God, If there is no sure thing within the earth other than the word of love from the my word of my everlasting gospel that you shall pen uh, my dove will bring love unto all and people will be confident only in his love everything else is a variable but his love is an absolute and so praise the lord and he said i shall constantly be singing over you and all of us because he is not a respecter of men he sings all over all of us in silence uh, if we keep our love light on as a little children and praise the God that the Almighty was absolute. So uh, to answer your question, the Lord said, O oh, reluctant shepherd of the good shepherd's sheep, uh, the only true answer, the only true answer is, 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 is this. <clears throat> 